can leave deep emotional scars, and in extreme situations, it can become violent and even deadly. George Azar knows this all too well. He joins us now to share his personal story and tell us a little bit about how he is now helping others. Welcome, George. Thank you so much for having me. So happy to have you. Oh, this is so wonderful. Thank you. We have a lot to talk about. We understand that you've written a book mm -hmm. about conformity and bullying. Talk a little bit about your inspiration for the book, which I'm assuming is your personal story. Yeah, it's so interesting. As, as most people during the pandemic experience a huge life shift, for me, it was very much wrestling with the ideas and the thoughts that I had about myself from my childhood. I was born in a very traditional uh, Middle Eastern upbringing and homosexuality was not seen as something that was a viable lifestyle. And so I turned to evangelical Christianity in order to find some sort of belonging and acceptance. And so fast forward to 2020, I was sitting in my, my house and I just started wrestling with all these different insecurities and different, you know, just, just things from the past that were coming up. And so it just inspired me to kind of sit down, write my story out. And um, I actually ended up releasing it last year. Year. Wonderful. And it's helped a lot of people, which I really, really am just it, the whole heart and soul behind writing the book was to help people who identify with similar upbringings and experiences. And in one way they can identify, we know it's a huge problem today, is bullying. And that was yes. a part of your childhood? Yes. Was that because of your sexual preference? Yeah, so what's interesting, uh, my brother is also gay. He's older than me. He came out at a much earlier age. And so the association um, on campus specifically uh, with my brother and how he was tortured and how he was bullied, I kind of became the heir to, to that you know, bullying and, and it, it caused me to really go into fight or flight mode. I ended up just, you know, uh, cutting ties with my best friend in, in high school be or excuse me, in middle school, because I perceived that, that being friends with him was associating me with homosexuality. And mm. so I was deathly afraid of, of being gay because mm. of what I saw modeled around me growing up which then eventually led me to Christianity uh, because they had a cure for it. And uh, long story short, I ended up going through conversion therapy, became a pastor, was almost engaged to another woman. Uh, that was also kind of an arranged situation. Uh, and, and it got to a point where my fear was less powerful than the will to be myself. Mm -hmm. And that's what pushed me into to finding answers outside of the group that I had dedicated my entire life to and my whole being and my whole identity. Mm -hmm. I ended up just wanting to figure out who am I? What, you know, why, why do I have these negative associations to being gay or being free or anything like that? And as I started to unravel that, it, it allowed me to come into this ever expansion um, of, of the universe and who I am as a person, as, as a byproduct of this universe. And growth and freedom. Absolutely. This sounds like a fascinating book. If people are interested in buying it, what should they do? The first version is still available, uh, but I've pulled it from distribution. So oh, you can pre okay. Yeah, you can now pre-order the second version on my website at My Gay Church Days. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your time this morning, George. Thank you, you for having me. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> and we'll be right back.